We're down at uh, Clyde Bank, uh, which is just to the west of Glasgow, at the Titan Crane. The Titan Crane was constructed in 1907 uh, and is now an iconic uh, for the engineering uh, past of Glasgow. Over one-fifth of the world's ships were actually constructed in the Clyde, uh, which is just, uh, uh, just down here. Uh, the Triton Crane uh, is now uh, in the former uh, John Brown uh, shipyard. The John Brown shipyard was where some of the most iconic ships uh, in history were actually constructed, including the QE2 and HMS Hood. The crane is 45 metres high. Uh, when it was constructed in 1907, it cost £24,800. Uh, in today's money, that's about £2.8 million. Pounds. And when it was constructed, it had a capacity of 180 tonnes. In 1938, uh, it was increased uh, to 206 tonnes uh, to, compa to, to, to deal with the uh, War, uh, war effort that uh, uh, was, uh, was underway at the time. The crane was constructed uh, to build all of the ships uh, uh, that were constructed in the John Brown uh, uh, shipyard. It was constructed and designed by Adam Hunter, who worked for uh, William Arnold and Company. Uh, William Arnold is obviously very famous uh, as a civil engineer that constructed uh, and designed the fourth rail bridge. Uh, the Titan Crane is actually a very good example uh, of uh, engineering you can actually get up close to. Uh, some of the larger uh, structures around, uh, around Scotland, perhaps uh, around the UK, you can't do. But uh, uh, the, the Titan Crane, you can actually go up uh, the new uh, lift shaft that's been constructed there, uh, actually see up close. Uh, and hopefully that will inspire young people to think about how the uh, structure was actually built uh, and how it actually worked as well. It's a, it's a sort of civil engineering uh, piece that doesn't actually sit static, actually moves around uh, it was actually used for uh, for real in, uh, in building ships uh, and now I uh, give a chance for young people to see uh, the potential uh, in civil engineering and engineering generally. I think it's also a very good example uh, that historic engineering uh, can be preserved uh, for, uh, for, for, for uh, future engineers and uh, future gen uh, generations, not just engineers but for everyone. Uh, it's a sort of uh, structure perhaps that uh, engineers and young people could uh, use Meccano on or, or perhaps uh, build a small crane uh, using Lego. The Titan Crane, uh, as well as the uh, Finiston Crane, which is further up towards Glasgow, are now icons of engineering uh, for the, the uh, city of Glasgow. In 2013, uh, the Titan Crane was designated a historical uh, civil engineering and mechanical uh, landmark. Uh, it uh, joined uh, other monuments around the world, including the uh, Sydney uh, Harbour Bridge and the uh, Eiffel Tower. They say that civil engineers actually shape the world. Uh, well, here in Clyde Bank is actually a very good example uh, when they did exactly that. I would certainly hope that uh, uh, the Titan Crane uh, is, a, is a good example uh, to inspire young people and to get them involved in engineering.